Hey everybody, we're back surf fishing Florida. We're at New Smyrna Beach. We got some really good conditions. It's about an hour and a half before high tide and I'm gonna film every fish she catches today. And we're hopefully gonna get a black tip shark on the big game rod. So let's see what happens. Hopefully she's gonna keep me busy today because I'm gonna film every one of them. Okay. That's a small whiting. That's okay. That's decent size. Plus I got frozen whiting heads. So good job. Okay, here's the shark rod today. Our eight and a half foot Tsunami Air Wave Elite with our second BG-8000. We might even be looking at a tarpon or a giant stingray today. So we'll take whatever we can get. Okay, hold it up. She only threw it about 10 feet out. By the time I got the GoPro, she's got it in. That's fish number two today, both whiting. Okay, number three. This seems like a little bit better than a dinky whiting, so. Okay. Oh, he's a sail cat. Hold him up. Oh, not a big one, but a good size one. Okay. Definitely don't touch that okay. thing yeah. or kick it either. Okay. On the last trip, we had to stop filming and go home because she kicked at the catfish with her foot and the spine broke off in her little toe. So you can't get the flesh eating disease. So that was the end of the day for us. Okay, we got one. It might be another big black nose. I think he's another black nose. He was pulling that drag though. But then again, so was the last one on the Cabo 120, which is unusual. It's definitely not a stingray because I seen him roll at the top. He could be a small black tip. It's a little shark, but I believe it's a big for black nose. Or like the other one, he's got some power. Okay, let me let me try to get him in here. Okay, a little black nose shark. He's got a lot of power for a little black nose like the other one. All right, let him go. He is. The black nose sharks are damn powerful for their little size. That's it. That's it. He'll go. 
Okay, we're on the board. We still got about three and a half hours to go, so let's see what happens. Okay, so she caught the little black nose. It's better than nothing. We caught him on a big frozen whiting head. This is one of the little whitings she caught. The thing with the black nose sharks is they'll grab that bait right by the hook and just rip it off. Sometimes without even moving the rod tip. But this is a good bait for a black tip or a tarpon too. So let's see what happens. Here's the frozen whiting head that we caught the black nose shark on. It's a big whiting, so it was cut behind the gills. I had it hooked pretty deep. I didn't think maybe a black nose might not be able to rip the hook out, they might get off, because that's what happens to the baits. If you can see, the hook pulls out, which is what you want. And that rod's pretty stout, and it, even on the black nose shark, it pulled the hook out to hook it. So I can't use it anymore. I'm just throwing it back out in the water. She's only throwing it about 15 feet out. By the time I grab the GoPro, she's already got it in. Actually, keep it. That, yeah, definitely keep that. That's a little bit better than the last one. So three whiting, the sail cat, and the black nose shark. See what she's got here. It's actually kind of slow. Oh, that's that's a medium-sized whiting. That's good because I think the black nose shark ripped off the little whiting head that I showed you earlier. Okay, good job. Wow. The definition of a super dinky whiting on the top hook. Okay, let it go. I don't know how much longer we got. The clouds are building up. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but an hour from now, it could look pretty bad. All right, I'm putting the shark rod up. We did get the black nose shark. And we had uh, one more semi pull down. I don't know what that was, but we didn't hook it. It's low tide in about 20 minutes. And even though it looks like I could wade out, the swells are a little big. If you wade out there and it's, it's waist deep water, the swells will be up to your chest or your neck. I'm not doing that. Plus the rain clouds are coming. So she could still fish with the bait rod and maybe get something. All right, we're wrapping it up. We gotta get out of here before the rain gets us. We've been here almost six hours. She only caught five whiting, the sail cat, and the little black nose shark. But once again, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. See you.